live, I'm from Puerto Rico, but live in New, been living in New York for the past six years. I've uh, been trying to go for the past, I don't know, probably like three years now, but very on and off. And this year I decided to just take it, take it much seriously, I guess. Uh, and I am now doing the Flatiron uh, full stack web de development program. Uh, so yeah, I needed to build a command line interface, uh, basically where I should be scraping uh, a website and presenting a user with a few different options. So so yeah, let's get started. Uh, so I'm trying to try to scrape this uh, website right here, Analytics Pro. Um, it's just basically. Uh, uh, digital analytics uh, uh, people that I really really like a lot. I'm always reading all of the articles right here. I've been learning uh, a lot from them. Um, so yeah, so this is their blog. Uh, but then here, since I want to scrape the categories, I just use another link because once you click an article, then you're actually able to get this right hand side uh, uh, menu basically right here with the categories so this right here is what I'm gonna try to scrape I'm gonna get the name I'm gonna get the URLs and I'm gonna try to present them uh, so let's get started I guess so here's my github page I'm calling the CLI analytics pros block scrape uh, something that I learned is to actually keep these names uh, short and sweet a little bit uh, should be more concise, uh, but I'll explain you why in a second. So let me just uh, get the link of my project, and now I'm gonna go back here to uh, to my uh, program, basically. So I'm gonna do uh, git clone, I'm gonna paste it there, and now I'm gonna cd to my uh, to my folder right here. Uh, I'm only I'm gonna teach you a quick uh, tip. So for example, since it, this folder starts with A and N, right? If I just do A and hit tab, it's gonna give me the whole thing. So yeah, that's a trick uh, that I learned uh, with the coaches. Pretty handy. I'm gonna click enter. So now I'm inside, right? So as you can see. I have a bin file, I have a lib file, the lib file I have a, the block scrape folder with my different classes. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. So basically I'm gonna hit dot slash bin slash scrape, uh, uh, actually block scrape, my bad. Block scrape, oops, block scrape. Oh, I need to run bundle install. So I'm gonna do that. It's fetching the data. Okay, so now if I click the up arrow and go past bundle install and go, and now I'm now that I have been block track and hit it enter again, and now this is my program. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm greeting the user. I'm saying welcome to the Analytics Pro block ball. And then I'm asking what they would like to learn today. And I present a list of categories uh, with numbers. So for example, advanced filters, and we, it's number one. AdWords is number two. Augmented Analytics is number three. If we go back to the landing page that I'm scraping, uh, as you can see, we have number one, advanced filters, number two, AdWords, number three, augmented analytics. Uh, so that works. And then uh, I'm actually prompting or asking the user to type a category number. So for example, let's, get, let's hit number one. So you remember, we had, uh, what was number one? Advanced filters. So if I press one, I should get advanced filters. If I press two, I should get hours. If I press, if I type three, I should get augmented analytics. So let's try it out. So I have number one, hit enter. I get advanced filters and the actual link. So the idea is for, uh, is for me basically, if I want to learn more about them, I just 
copy the link and, and paste it in my browser. I know there's a method, uh, there's a way for me to actually uh, do it instantaneously, but uh, um, uh, I don't know. I didn't do it for this particular uh, project, but I can I can uh, do it for the next ones. Anyways, so that was number one, advanced filters. Number two, AdWords, I get the link. Number three, I got augmented analytics. Number 23, I get something else, machine learning. Uh, but let's say I use your types, uh, an incorrect number, let's, uh, or a number that is actually not part of the of the of the list let's try I don't know 67 I get an error message it says oops what you type does not exist why don't you try list and to get a new number let's do that I'm gonna type list and I get my my list again right here and I can type again a number number 12 etc etc what about if a user wants to exit the program? So you can actually type exit as you can read right here. If you click, if you type exit, you're gonna finish the program. So now if I do that, I'm gonna get a goodbye type of message, which is right here. See you next time. Uh, so yeah, basically uh, the way that I'm telling the, the my program to actually execute this code, all of my code right here is with this line right here, so I have a block scrape, CLI, dot new, and then a, a dot call uh, method. This dot call method is basically, it lives inside my CLI class, which is this one right here. Uh, all of this stuff right here is responsible for my user interactions, basically. And this particular method right here is the one that is responsible to call line by line all of these other methods that I have right here. So present categories, present categories right here. List categories is the one that is responsible to put uh, the welcome uh, information. And then uh, it also is, it is also responsible to list all of the categories. And then I have the menu right here, which is responsible for, for of course, well, the menu, for example, to ask the user to type uh, a number or type list if I want to get back the list or type Etsy if I want to add it. And then I have a goodbye uh, method, which is the one responsible to uh, say goodbye to exit the program. Um, I have the category class, which is the one responsible to instantiate the name and URL uh, that I'm scraping uh, from the landing page right here. And this is all responsible. I mean, it, this all happens because I'm actually using Nokogiri uh, inside a scrape category page method uh, and an open URI. This is just the, the actual landing page that I'm scraping. And then uh, for the actual categories, uh, in order for me to scrape the actual categories and the and the URLs, I needed to look for the CSS selector, which is uh, basically in a list, and then a class of cat item. How did I get this stuff right here? Well, going to the landing page, I'm gonna look for the developer console. I'm gonna use my pointer right here, and I can click here, and here it is. There's a list, and there's a, the cat item. If we go back, uh, we have the list and the cat item. And then I'm passing all of that information here back to my category, and I have a method to create those categories, which I'm using a, a an each loop, uh, and as you can, and then I'm setting up a variable, uh, when I'm creating new instances of, or basically individual objects for those categories, and for example, I have category dot text uh, for my for my name, and then I have category dot css a with an attribute of href dot text for my URL, and then I'm saving everything using the dot save method, which is right here, and in the save method, I have a class variable name dot uh, all, which I'm basically adding all of these categories to that uh, all uh, class variable. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, thank you so much. Now let's see how I can end this recording. Thanks. Actually, if you wanna go and try this out, go to my GitHub page, 
Uh, it's basically right here, GitHub, LPC, RAV, Analytics Pros, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Uh, hope you can try it out. Bye.